What's up YouTube? Today it's Saturday. We're in the shop again. We're here to talk about some Fox body Ford Mustang stuff. You guys ever notice that your Fox body, uh, the front, the front wheels are always stick out, seem to be further than the other ones. Like the rears are always like sunk in, you know, and I'm going to show you some examples later on in the video of what I'm talking about. Not only with the factory pony wheels, but with the, you know, Cobra R's and, and other wheels that have different offsets. Because I got multiple Mustangs to kind of reference from. But I'm kind of an OCD guy about stance. That's why it's labeled Got Stance. Because this is one of a couple videos I'm going to release about how to make some, you know, some cheap and easy tr tips and tricks to make your, uh, make your Fox body more appealing. At least, at least from the back. Because, you know, that's where everybody's at anyways. They're behind it, hopefully. But anyways, uh, before we get into the video, I want, uh, I'm going to get my hands dirty and get, get, to, you know, get digging on axle and show you how to change a few things. But uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and that bell for notifications for when I hit the video. Share it wherever. Uh, I really appreciate your guys' time, so let's go ahead and get right, on it. So we're here outside, and I'm here showing you one of my parts cars here. Um, that the stance on the front wheel here, you can notice, then these are just pony wheels. I wanted to do it on factory wheels as well as aftermarket wheels. But you can see that the pony wheel sits, you know, pretty much level with the fender for the most part. But if you come to the back here, I mean, the wheels, I mean, it's like sunk in. Like, that looks terrible to me. So, you know, this video is mainly about trying to rectify that. Depending on if you actually go with the long studs that I'm telling you about, you actually can actually use a four uh, four lug pony wheel and make it look a little bit better too, even with it's only being seven inch wide and a small tire, and try to bring that tire closer to the lip here. You know, here's another one just sitting right outside. You know, this is another parts car I got. The same thing. You can just see how sunk in or sunk in this rear tire is versus the front. Now here's another example. I'm coming. I came in here to the uh, the black turbo Mustang. That I, it's got the rear street wheels on it. Um, in the front street, I mean the front wheels are still my drags uh, uh, set up, but that's okay. But you'll see the point. You see it just sits perfectly with the fender, nice and clean, doesn't look obnoxious. And then if you come to the rear here, you know you'll notice that I've actually got it set up to where that tire pretty much sits right at that lip. Actually, that one sits in a little bit too much. But this one, same thing. So that's kind of a bad example. A really good example is this blue turbo car over here that I got going on. Um, I, re I really like the way this stands sit. This tire's a little bit different. It's got a little bit better offset. And you can see it sits, I mean, just perfect. Look at that. And you know, the front, these are 17 by nines with a six inch back spacing. I'm using five and three quarter. And you can see the front is naturally going to sit like right at the, you know, right at the fender. And that's a 245 or a 255. I can't remember. Here. But that's a 17.9 with a five and three quarter back spacing. And same with the rear. So there's your stance with aftermarket wheels and with factory wheels. All right. So what I got here is I got an 88 axle out of a Fox body. Now this is just your standard 88 axle that came from your 87 to 93 Ford Mustang Fox body. Rear drum, it's got a 28 spline div, 28 spline factory axles. This is a four by four and a quarter inch bolt pattern or whatever you want to call it. And you can see in here that I've already kind of cheated a little bit and uh, released the pin and everything, but you don't have to take this out of your car to do this mod. And it's not really that big of a deal, especially if you're doing a, a actual, just a, just a normal gear, differential service this is a perfect time to put those studs on now that's exactly what we're trying to do here with the studs and the spacers is we're trying to make our rear uh, our rear axle look a little more appealing than when it you know than it does currently by trying to make the rear look like the front if that makes any sense so anyways i'm going to show you some really cheap easy ways um, you know stuff that you can just buy it like summit racing or jegs or whatever um, You know your spacers these are half inch spacers Eighth inch spacers and they're all like four lug and multi lug and all that stuff But before you put these on and I've seen it too many times You got to replace that stud that shits like an inch and a half That's small now look 
try to put that stud through there and get some threads on it, you're crazy as hell. I ain't driving in that car. But here's the thing is the 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 spacers are just fine to drive in your car with i make six seven hundred horsepower and i run three inch spacers on on my street car all the time and i've never had a problem with them but here's the three inch stud and i buy mine i just moroso i mean um, uh, Mosier makes really good ones they all make good ones but you can see here it's a three inch half inch three inch stud 615 cur uh, excuse me 615 neural now neural is this little traction part right here that goes inside of your axle and when you pound them out you put them in you know what i mean this is the neural this is what gives it traction keeps it from falling out or whatever so but anyways let's go ahead and get into this axle all right so i got this axle already ready the drum the drum has to come off uh, this is a 5 16 or 8 millimeter bolt right here, uh, excuse me, stud, whatever you want to call it, that pin. There's a little pin that holds the big pin in on your differential, okay? You don't have to pull the diff out to do this mod. You just got to pull the axles out, obviously. And there's the big pin. See, this little pin comes in here. Let me give you a full warning about this. Don't strip this out. Make sure you got a good grip on this, and if it starts to not come out, or shear or whatever, stop. Heat it up right there or something. Because this is a pain in the ass to get out if you mess it up. I promise you. So this is your key to unlocking all of this shit. So, all right, I got that out. Um, I pulled my C-clip out. Usually it's good with a magnet. I already did it earlier, by the way. Now I pulled this axle out. This would be a good time to go ahead and change your seals and your bearings. Now you just pop this seal out, you pop this cage bearing out, you gotta get the puller, you can rent it from AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts or whatever for cheap and they give you your money back. But as you can see, I've already knocked this, this stud out. And that's the one I was showing you earlier. I've already knocked that stud out. So what we're gonna do, you can see how small they are. You start running Like, look at that. There'd be no way a wheel would get any, any sort of grip on that. Because you, you still got the drum that goes over top of that. So, anyways, this, is, this neural is a 615 neural. This stuff will work. Sorry. All right, so again, it's the Moroso 3-inch studs, 46-180, half-inch, 3-inch long, 615 diameter neural, whatever you want to call it. So over here, I'm going to show you on this axle that we did. I already pulled that axle and showed you that we popped one out already. And you can see here, it's suggested that you press them in, but you can see how long it is. You, and it's suggested you press it in, but you can hammer them in with a three-pound hammer or two-pound hammer. It's not a big deal. I did it just now. I don't really care that much. But, you know, obviously, as long as it sits nice and flush on the back side of that axle, you're going to be okay. Now, here's the spacer, half-inch spacer I was showing you earlier. Now, you can see, a good reference, the difference. You put that wheel on there, you ain't got very many threads on this one. But this one, you set it in there, man, you're good, man. See what I mean? So, this is, this is a perfect mod to be doing. It's cheap. The spacers are like 20 bucks. You only need two for the rear. And these studs are only like 15 bucks a pack. They come in a pack of five. And they fit factory axles. And, you know, th this whole thing can work on aftermarket axles as well. You just got to know the neural of your axle is all. Well, let me go over here real quick and show you before we end this video. You know, I mean, naturally, look at that stance. Right down the side. You can see the tire sitting nice and flush. That's nice. That looks good. See that? Nice. Nice and square. Now you take examples of that things I was showing you earlier. You know, even with pony wheels, that would look good. So, but one more thing in closing. And we'll probably do this in another video. Oh, let's go to the other side. You're going to want to roll your lips of your rear fenders. 
Now, I did this because I race a lot, so my slick would bury. But this is nice and flat right here, or rounded up. On a normal Fox, you can see it's all nice and rounded. Well, maybe you can. On a normal Fox, it sits <clears throat> you know it sits like a lip see it it's like a lip so this will cut the shit out of your tire so in another video got a couple of them coming up i'm going to show you about the cutting springs and doing that east wood lip here so anyways thanks for your time make sure you hit the like and subscribe if you watched it this far and hope to see you guys out at the strip watching me hit making some hits